a bad B They stay looking but these brothers can't have me They call me Lani good good But I'm a bad B Running up the bands broke bitches can't catch me Hey guys, hey guys It's me Lani good good You done the ting So hi guys It's me in my car even though you've missed my car videos. Do you remember the good times? The viral times. <laughs> the Wahala times. Yes. So basically, guys, today is part two of when I dated two guys story because that story is what toxic. That story is what toxic. And today I'm doing it a bit different. I'm doing it in style. I'm eating while I'm doing it. Yes, bitch. Hot and juicy shrimp London. If you don't know them, I think they're the, like the best um seafood boil place in london period this is where you go in london if you want seafood boil period oh, no, no, no. it smells so good all the aromas it's really doing me something i'm telling you you know this is not something you eat when you're on a diet mm -hmm. especially when you've got like a music video in a week this is not something you eat but i'm just gonna start for the rest of the week and it's gonna be what it's gonna be worth it it's gonna be worth it period period table period table so anyway guys really quickly <laughs> um where i stopped in that story i know i stopped where he broke up with me because guys this is like a, th a whole three year situation so it's such a long story so before i start eating my hot and juicy shrimp i just want to say guys um they gave me the mac and cheese um but i um i went to pick it up and on my way back i devoured it i'm sorry but it was absolutely divine it was probably the best mac and cheese i've ever had in my life yeah i'll go as far as to say that it was the best mac and cheese i had in my life it was just scrumptious and it wasn't sickly i don't know if you guys have ever had like a sick i know i'm holding it because i don't want it to spill in my car and if i put it lower you won't be able to see it but i've had really sickly mac and cheeses and it wasn't sickly at all it was amazing loved it loved it loved it so i totally 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 100 percent recommend hot and juicy shrimp especially the mac and cheese oh switch that off so guys where i'm gonna start is when we broke up okay now guys, remember this story is extremely Oh. Oh, it's balancing better. Oh, better. This story is extremely 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 bad, okay? Oh, oh, look at that. A footstool. Oh yeah, just a bit of that. Oh yeah, cool. That's not going nowhere. So yeah, this story is extremely toxic. Really, really toxic cuz I was a toxic bitch. Let's open the lemon. So basically guys, you know like my my boyfriend at the time. He broke up with me obviously because he saw a text message on my phone from a guy saying let's go cinema. So he dumped my ass. <gasps> lemon <laughs> Guys, I'm just adding the lemon. I just need to add more lemon. More lemon. We want more lemon. We want we want that fresh taste, that tangy taste. Do you know what I mean, guys? So many cards. Oh, fresh lemon. Mmm. So, sprinkled with the lemon, gorgeous. Just gonna pop a few in there for color. Oh, let me pop some in there for color. Mmm, you know, because you eat with your eyes, don't you, darling? So guys, like I was saying, yeah, like I was saying, my boyfriend breaks up with me now because I'm t a guy's invited me to the um, the cinema. Yeah, and I've said I love you to the, to my male friend. So my ex is broken up with me. Oh yeah, don't judge me. I eat the um, I eat the the shell. I don't care. I was in agony in terms of heartbreak I was in agony for like weeks and weeks and weeks and it wasn't getting any better and you know what I sat there and I deeped it and I was thinking to myself 
you fully broken up with me and dumped me for saying I want to go cinema with my friend but you're like a cheater you're terrible you're an absolute cheater guys look at this guys look at that guys fucking hell guys look at that wait one sec guys look at that fucking hell guys look at that what am I supposed to do that what am I supposed to do that? Hmm? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna have a muscle. Yeah. But yeah, so my boyfriend, yeah, he um breaks my heart. Like he obviously leaves me. I'm angry. I'm now starting to deep. But the dumping was unwarranted. How can you break up with me when you're fully sleeping with other girls? Like, actually, like, a piece of shit. Like, I'm a fucking female. So then I'm sitting there thinking, I need to get revenge. Like, I, I can't... With me, I don't take L's lying down. You can't take the piss out of me and think I'm going to forget about it. I'm not going to forget about it. I'm not. Okay? I'm going to hold your ass. Do you understand? I'm, I'm going to make sure that you know that I'm pissed off. I'm going to make sure that you know that you can't take me for idiot. That's just a bit of me. I can't. I can't do it. I can't allow somebody to take the piss out of me. He he breaks up with me, and I'm thinking, what? When you literally like have rumors about you having a kid on the way, and they weren't rumors because he was fully having a kid. So I'm I'm not having it. So I have no idea how his, me and his friend got to talking. It might have been MySpace, but you have to remember, like I said, we all worked in the same place. So I'm not sure if it was anyone could have got my BBM. I can't remember how he got it, but he got it. And I realised he was his close friend in his close circle. And I thought to myself, ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Hey, so basically. So when I clocked, I was like, I was like, yes, bitch. I was like, your friend is interested in talking to me. I am definitely going to talk to him. So at the time I was up in uni. So do you know what I mean? Like I I um wasn't even in London. This white potato. I want sweet potato. Guys, I was all the way in London. And I was all the way in um, Man um Leeds University because that's where I went at first. I went to Leeds Uni. So I was all the way up there. Um <clears throat> Let me attempt to eat this. I was all the way in Leeds. <clears throat> and um, I started talking to his friend. And his friend would, was literally talking to me every day. And his friend was funny as hell. So, it wasn't part of the plan. But I ended up... <clears throat> this is so hot. I ended up... <gasps> Fucking hell, look at that. Look at that. Mm. so yeah like i said i was all the way in leeds ended up talking to him every day he's so funny i end up liking him can you imagine i actually end up liking your friend in my head i'm thinking this friend is lit i'm not having the skin don't worry i'm just trying to break off the skin with my teeth I'm not that bush. So yeah. His friend and me end up getting along. I'm gonna call the friend, obviously friend, and I'm just gonna call the first boy. love of my life like I said because he was the love of my life at the time so me and his friend end up meeting and do you know what I was really naive I remember one thing he said to me a lot is because I kept saying to him like are you sure you want to talk to me and he was like yeah and I was like but I went out with your I basically went out with your friend and he kind of was like yeah but you guys are not together anymore and he uh, he told me that he asked his friend if it was okay, if he started, if he spoke to me. And guess what? 
guess what my boyfriend said because I never told you guys this bit I actually just I even forgot it guess what my boyfriend said when he says um can I talk to Lani he actually said yes mm -hmm. he said yeah because for me this is a very vital part of the story I don't think I would have gone there and neither with the guy if he had said no but guess what he did my um, love of my life boyfriend used to say to his boys that basically I was just one of the, his things and it wasn't that deep he wasn't taking me seriously like that that's what boys do they will embarrass you so he wasn't taking me that seriously it wasn't that deep I was one of his things meanwhile he's thinking he's thinking that he can say that because he's actually thinking that there is no way in hell that me and him are going to get together this is what he told me after so imagine this guy with his chest said yeah shout her do your thing i don't care about her but he actually cared because obviously i found this out later but this is why this story is so dramatic it wouldn't be dramatic if a guy didn't care but the guy did care but do you understand what i'm trying to say but he told his boy that he didn't care and he just didn't think it would happen but it happened because let me tell you something the se the second boy the friend had an amazing personality had me in stitches all the time absolutely like found him hilarious at the time he's by the way he's glowing up now but at the time he wasn't the best looking he is now he's he's actually gorgeous now but at the time he wasn't the best looking so my boyfriend was much better looking than the friend so i think he banked on the fact that i wouldn't be attracted to his friend but he had a lovely personality he had me in stitches and he treated me a lot better than the, the my boyfriend so before you knew it me and the friend before you knew it me and the friend were talking every day me and the friend like even liked each other me and the friend ended up ended up being being boyfriend and girlfriend i don't think for him he put his all into that relationship only because he i think he knew that he, if he got his feelings involved in a girl that used to date his friend it was stupid because was i genuine was i trying to make the other boy jealous do you know what i mean but also i feel like there was a lot of deception so he was my boyfriend but i still feel like he was telling people that this is the friend by the way me and the friend ended up getting into a relationship and he was my boyfriend but he dumped he played it down to his friends and his boys and acted like it wasn't that deep so both these boys were playing it off like it wasn't that deep to me to other people but behind closed doors they were both telling me that they loved me i think that i'm gonna put this whole story down to immaturity the whole thing because there was a lot of feelings and a lot of people getting upset um when it was actually unnecessary it didn't need to happen but no one was being honest about how they felt and i'm seeing that my man is getting whole huffed and puffed i was actually quite shocked guys let me tell you how we found out so a few people know that i'm seeing my man when i say a few people i mean like four but the main guy doesn't he's been asked but he doesn't know so one day I'm chilling in my man's room. We hear just beat. So at this point, we're actually having sex. And then we hear my man coming up the stairs. And he's on the phone, so we recognize his voice. So he panics. And he shuts the door. And he's thinking, shit. Because obviously he asked him, but he hadn't told him yet. Um, one of the reasons he hadn't told him is because even though he said, go true, like, I don't care about the girl. Um, I guess he didn't fully believe him yeah he didn't um fully fully believe him there was something a little bit mm, a little bit off like is he actually telling me the truth because he wasn't he wasn't 
So he didn't fully, he didn't fully tell him. He was a bit shook. We all knew we shouldn't be doing it. Like we all knew deep inside that we shouldn't be doing it. That we're playing with fire because at the end of the day, no matter what a guy tells you, me and this first, me and this first boyfriend, like. You know, like, I told the friend... Because the friend was just like... He probably said that he, you guys weren't serious. And I was like, if you're not serious with someone, why do you tell them that you love them? Or you want to marry them? So that's when he was just like, huh? Like, so there was a lot of miscommunication. So everyone was a bit shook at this point. Like, what is the truth? Does my man care? So anyway, he comes up the stairs. My man locks the door so that he can't get in. So obviously, he starts now... Getting a bit worried and confused. And more than suspicious like what the fuck why is the door closed by the way his door was never ever shut so my, the love of my life is like what's going on he's knocking on the door knocking on do the door saying bro open the door i don't care if you're with a girl but he's not thinking it's me and he's just like oh yeah one sec one sec and he's like bro open the door like because he's never ever shut the door so um He's just like, it's strange, like, open the door, like, I don't care if you're with a girl, like, do your, finish what you're doing and then open the door. So he's, obviously, m me and, um, it's raining, me and, um, the friend are naked, we put on our clothes, I sit at the edge of the bed in the corner, he puts on his trousers, but he leaves on his, he leaves his top off, I don't know why he left his top off, that was shady of you, but he leaves his, he, he leaves his top off, he opens the door, my man comes in, and he looks at me like this. And he sm like smirks, he smirks like, for fuck's sake. And then his face turns and it's pure anger. And he was like, what the fuck is she doing here? That's what he said, what the fuck is she doing here? He was not pleased. Then he spat at me. He spat at me from across the room. Then he left, he stormed off. So, me and the friend are now like that was awkward and then we're like talking about the situation and then he's like this is really really confusing because he said he doesn't care but then why is he spitting at you and then i said um because um he he did like me to a certain extent but he just won't tell you that and then thingy's just like fucking hell like he proper said that he didn't care about you i've never seen him like angry or spit like he's just like this guy is there's something not hit right like this guy cares but all i know is he went to his boy's house because one of the boys ran he went to one of the boys house because the boys didn't live that far and he was ranting and, and raging and just cussing me and basically saying that he didn't care about me but he fucking hated me why does he have if there's so many girls in the world why do you have to link me i'm so annoying or like that bitch like he probably was just like he don't he doesn't like me like he dislikes me very very much so, um, I think the, my, my, um, the friend tried to get to the bottom of it, like, do you want me to stop seeing her? And he was like, I don't give a fuck, you know, like, all that talk, yeah? Um, I don't give a fuck. So, at this point, it's too late, even if he did, because we've had sex. So, even if, yeah... He gives an F. It's too late. At this point, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. What am I going to do? Stop seeing him? Mm. He actually later told me. Jesus Christ. He actually later told me that he would have preferred if it was a one and done. Like, it... Mm. he told me he would have preferred if me and the guy had smashed one time and it was over but obviously it wasn't like that me and him got into a full-fledged relationship and guess what's even more evil guys events birthdays cinema picnics barbecues i would go with my new boyfriend with my new with this friend of his. I would go. Okay. And I would... Oh, it's automatic when it rains. Amazing. I would go and I would be around... Oh, some sauce, guys. Mm, look at that sauce. I would go. And I would be around... 
I would fully, fully, fully be around the both of them. The cheek of me. The cheek of me. And let me tell you one specific story to show you how toxic it was. Boys, and me and his boys got along. But guys, you have to remember, his boys are the love of my life's boys. So they share the same friends. Does that make sense? They literally share the same friends. So it's problematic. It's very problematic. So we always saw each other. So there was one time we went to this barbecue. Child, this story is wild. Like, went to this barbecue. I had slept, um, we went the day before because it was at his mate's house. His mate was in uni or something. And, and we, me and him slept there. We got ready the next day. Everyone comes around. We're chilling and we're playing games. I'm sitting at the bottom of the stairs because like it was kind of packed. I'm sitting at the bottom of the stairs and my love of my life is sitting at the top, top, top of the stairs. I don't know who was sitting on the stairs first, who knows. But I was sitting up there and all I can feel is things being thrown at me. I'm being attacked at a barbecue. I'm being attacked. Literally pencils and pens throwing. He's throwing pens. I mean, he's attacking me. He's actually attacking me, guys. He's like, sorry. He is legit attacking me. He is legit like assaulting me with pens and pencils he hates my guts he hates my guts he's throwing stuff at me um he's saying to me why are you even here what the fuck why are you even here nobody likes you go away i think he you might have even called me a hoe he's just throwing stuff at me fucking he fucking can't stand me he can't stand me he can't stand me so my plan of revenge worked you can't just dump me break my heart have a baby on me and think i'm not gonna do anything i'm lani he hates me absolutely hates me throwing things at me and you know what was really awful? I ha constantly had to remind the friend that I wasn't, like, I didn't have any feelings. Oh, I don't have any feelings for my ex-boyfriend. But a lot of it was cap. And um, even, I think I was lying to myself and him. Yeah, I'm quite worried. Because I talk on here so much, I feel like I always, I tell you guys a lot of stuff, but, you know, I have secrets. And one of the secrets is to do with this story and I just don't know if I can say it. Cause I've never, a lot of people don't know, you know. Fucking hell. God, am I gonna go there? Shit. But um, tell me if you think I should or you think I should not do it. Cause I'm scared of the backlash. But um, it's just a bit embarrassing. Cause, oh my God, my mom doesn't know. God. Is it possible for me to do this story time without, and tell, tell you guys this, my mom, my mom finding out? I, okay, fuck, if I do it, I might, I'm just scared, but I might do it. I just hope I don't get too much backlash. Yeah, because it's my real life, you know what I mean? But um, basically, the, um, I'm going to tell you two quick times where I realised that um, I was still in love with um, my ex. Or well, I started to think maybe that that's, it's still unfinished business to a certain extent. So basically... Um, he, my, you know how all, a lot of black boys do music? He's having a music video, and obviously I was um, going to be one of the video girls. I pray to God it's not on the internet. I pray to, if it's on the internet, I'll show you. Actually, no. I can't. Because you clock who my boyfriend is. I'll try and show you only my bits. But basically oh my god it's so embarrassing i don't want you to clock what i'm talking about um so basically yeah i was in the, his music video so we had he had hired him and his friend had hired a, a um airbnb like a, a house 
a nice house yeah so we went to stay there <clears throat> and um went to stay there and um we slept there and then the next day we we started to set up for the music video so i was having a shower whilst my boyfriend was downstairs having breakfast with his boys i was having a shower brushing my teeth getting ready for the video my back is turned to the door so my ass excuse my my nose i just need to blow my nose my ass is facing the door tell me why my ex-boyfriend aka the love of my life just walked into the into the shower he so basically he had arrived to be to, to, to do the music video because or be to support his friends because obviously this is his group of friends so he's arrived to support his friends and be in the music video and when he's arrived he has just barged into what he's very aware um okay so basically he's very very aware that that's my room me and his room he he knows that they slept there the night before he can hear someone is showering so if he thought a guy was showering why would he walk into the people keep calling me why would he walk Why would he walk into the bathroom if he thought a guy was showering? He knew full well that I was in that shower. He knew. Why would he walk into a bathroom with a guy showering? Why? Because he wants to see a guy naked? Unless he was bisexual and I'm unaware of it. As, as far as I'm concerned, he's straight. So why is he walking into the bathroom? The shower was on. He walks in. And he sees me naked. He walks in and he sees me naked. And I'm like, I turn around because I think it's um, my new boyfriend. I turn around and I see him and I'm thinking, why are you watching me bath or shower? I was thinking, what are you looking at? And then he left. 10, 15, 20 minutes later, I'm upstairs doing my makeup and my hair. I'm still doing it in the bathroom. <clears throat> It's a house with so these nice little windows, everything. Guess who strolls back up? Yep. My ex-boyfriend. The love of my life. Comes back to the bathroom. You're very aware I'm in here now. You saw my ass. He comes in there. And he goes, what, are you happy? Yeah. And I was like, what? And he goes, what, are you happy? And I'm thinking, why ask me this? <laughs> You know, I'm going out with your friend. And he was like, are you happy? And I was just like, stuck for words. Stuck for words. I didn't know what to say. I was scared. I was scared. Um, because this started us off as revenge. But actually, I think your friend is kind of nice. And he's kind of cool. And he's a great guy. So, I am kind of happy, yeah. And he also treats me better than you. And he also allows me to be he brings me into his world he introduces me to his mum he introduces me to his his boys i feel like i'm part of the gang i feel like i'm part of a family so in essence yes i'm very 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 happy but i can't deny i can't deny that there's you know something about what we had so guys he starts lipsing me why the fuck would he do that and then he kisses my neck okay this is strange behavior you know i was literally <laughs> lipsing your boy last night like it's, it's a bit strange so he does that then he leaves And within half an hour, everyone knew. Everyone knew. He told everybody. And he just went, I feel like he really wanted to get rid of me. So he told everybody, she's only dating my man to make me jealous. Like, basically, like, I can't stand her. She's a whole, get rid of her. So I had to talk to boyfriend 
number two I broke down in tears and I basically just said something along the lines of he just manipulated me I said some bullshit I said some bullshit I was crying I was just like I love you because at this point we're saying I love you I love you I don't love him but he knows how to get in my head he's really manipulative I'll just say some bullshit and my boyfriend basically said listen I need to shoot my video so we're gonna shoot the video then we'll talk about it later I feel like if I hadn't done that boyfriend number two the friend wouldn't have cheated on me as much as he did he cheated on me a lot but the reason he cheated on me a lot is because I think he thought I was still in love with his friend um which I kind of was i kind of think i i had a soft spot for both of them but i was more in love with number one um however i feel like that the only reason i was in love with number one is because i hadn't gone, gotten over him however if i met number the friend first i could have been in a very happy relationship with the friend i do genuinely believe that because he's a very nice person and he's funny as fuck and i still talk to him to this day to this day i talk to the guy <laughs> And that was years ago. He's on my snap. He's on my socials. Not my the love of my life. The friend is. I went to do a video for his little brother the other day. Like, do, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Sorry. So, it's not always. I, I'm not trying to say do what I did. But it's not always because you've dated someone that their brother or their sister or their friend isn't the love of your life i know it sounds very 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 shady and messy but sometimes it is what it is sometimes you actually are compatible with your ex-boyfriend's brother your ex-boyfriend's sister your ex-boyfriend's mom your ex-boyfriend's best friend i'm telling you i'm not capping sometimes you that person you just vibe with them and you just think there's something about you but they're literally off bounds and you can't go near them so you kind of have to know what you're risking and whether it's worth it because you're probably going to lose or um, burn bridges with somebody. But sometimes, just sometimes, it's worth it because sometimes people burn bridges with people but they end up married to the friend, the brother, the cousin. I don't know if it's worth burning bridges over two siblings. Um, fucking hell, that sounds deep. Or a mum and a son. It's very complicated. I just want everyone to be happy and in love so it's very complicated. If someone can get over the fact that they were the first then maybe like you two people can be happy i say that but if one of my friends wanted to date tw i wouldn't speak to them again however if they were soulmates i would be happy for them so i suppose you just have to be a bit mature how okay so this the second time guys this is the worst and then i'm going to end it and give you part three where i'm thinking about opening up but you guys need to tell me if i should so part so this is the last bit the the sec the the other time I realized I still loved him is it was Christmas I went to do a because I was at uni but I booked a couple shifts at the Oto Arena to do Christmas shifts so I walked in there and when we got there for whatever reason they told us all to go home I don't know if it was to do with the weather the the concert was cancelled last minute there was a reason but we weren't actually gonna do it so there was loads of people waiting in like the lobby like lo loads of workers waiting in the lobby and just waiting on news of whether they would be working or not and then the guy announced obviously i walk in and i see the love of my life because he used to work there and um um i um they tell us to all go that like, we're not working tonight <clears throat> sorry for wasting your time but the concert's been cancelled so i turn around and i start walking to the direction of the train station and i can see a shadow of a person following me so it's my ex-boyfriend the love of my life mind you i'm still with the first guy and it's been it's probably been eight nine months at this point we've been together for a time so i'm walking i can see the guy behind me and i'm thinking okay why is he following me and then i get to on the train and he's being really nice to me he's like trying to talk to me he's being really nice to me he wants to know how i am i thought he was going to beat me up he wants to know how i am how I've been, what's new. So I'm just talking to him, but in my head I'm thinking, why are you talking to me? And then he goes, he just starts saying all this romantic stuff, like I miss you. 
and stuff and i'm thinking no you don't and he goes i know you don't love him i know you're just doing it because you're trying to hurt me like la 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 and he's basically saying if you hadn't done this we would have got back together i know i broke up with you but i would have come back to you we would have been together would have i would have worked it out with you i i um i still love you i want to be with you and i'm thinking he must be capping he has to be cap but uh, um, I started to feel those feelings I used to feel for him again. I remember he was really cute. He was really cute. So I was falling for the looks as well. I was thinking, oh my God, you're so scrumptious. Guys, we ended up finding a disabled toilet. I can't remember at what train station because we had we got on the train and then we got off at like Canary Wharf, went into some disabled toilets. I think there's a little shopping center there. So I think we went there and, and um, yeah, he bent me over and we had sex. Can you believe that I had sex with someone when I had a boyfriend? I, not even someone. I had sex with... <sighs> I had sex with my first boyfriend when I had a new boyfriend and they were friends. And I was still with the, the new boyfriend. Am I tapped? I had sex with my ex-boyfriend. I cheated on my new boyfriend with my ex-boyfriend... In the disabled toilets in Canary Wharf, whilst I was with my new boyfriend, and they were both friends. If that isn't a something, I don't know what is, girl. I don't know what is. I've gone from one to two to one again. What the fuck? What the fuck was I thinking? I don't recommend you doing EastEnders. I don't recommend you doing Nollywood. I don't recommend it. Don't do what I did. It was very messy. Sometimes they really think about your decisions before you make them don't just go on feelings oh, fucking hell i really love revenge don't i but if you want to know what happens after this i mean i'll give you a clue boyfriend number two forgave me he just cheated on me he stayed with me and just cheated on me didn't take me seriously just cheated on me but if you want to know what happens after because i eventually end up getting back in a relationship with boyfriend number one and it becomes more toxic at one point, I was fucking talking to the both of them. I wasn't sleeping with the both of them, but I was talking to the both of them. I was tapped. If you want to know the story, I want to know all the wahala and all the mess and all the heartbreak and how one of them tried to get revenge on me and sleep with my friend. You let me know. You let me know. Because they did try and get their revenge on me. They did try to F my friends. Yes, they did. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway guys yeah if you want to know part three and obviously the secret let me know like especially if you're a goodie let me know if you think it's i should keep some stuff to myself or if i should like tell you guys what i did because it's a bit embarrassing but yeah let me know you know something i'm ashamed of i think you've kind of guessed what i did but yeah um let me know guys if you if i should talk about it it's something chioma on blue therapy also spoke about so i've given you a really big clue so yeah let me know if you think i should say that on camera and you'll get okay, guys love you like i said this was so delicious look how much food i have left i will be doing part three tomorrow so i'm probably gonna finish the rest of this gorgeous food okay Mwah. bye they call me lonely good good but i'm a bad b they stay looking but these brothers can't have me they call me